Time to check out the Apache 4800 case. Hey everybody, the Chang here with a, another product review. This Today we're going to be talking about the Apache 4800 sized case. Before we do that, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon that's off to the right there somewhere so you can be notified of any of the new content that we might pro uh, that we might post so let's get into the case here um i've been looking uh, for a case to transport a lot of the demonstration units that we use for class uh some of the loaner guns that we use for class and uh i'm a fan of uh, pelican cases and uh, skb cases some of the plano cases um and one of my students had uh, recommended that I check out these Apache cases from Harbor Freight. And uh, we know that uh, Harbor Freight really isn't known for super high-end stuff. Uh, they try to build themselves as a value-oriented brand. So um, how, could, how good can this case actually be? So let's check out some of the features here. Um, this is uh, the 4800 series. So more of a briefcase size here. It's actually pretty large. You can barely get it to fit on the little workspace here. Um, if you here, it does have a have a, a blow off valve here. I've flown with these cases where the uh, pressurization between the, the the luggage hold and and the airplane or the atmosphere actually creates some pretty bad suction, so you can't get these open. Um, the, the valve here is really easy to open. This may be a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, we'll do uh, some water testing in a couple of seconds here. Um, latches are real positive. The 4800 has latches on three sides. Of course, the hinges on one side. Um, padlock spots uh, looks very, very similar in construction. Feels very, very similar. The latches even feel similar um, to my Pelican case. When we get this open, we'll see that uh, standard foam up here. There's a, I can't see it here. Um, let's see if I can get this angle a little bit. Right along the bottom here, you can see uh, there is a rubber gasket. That rubber gasket is shaped for this seam here. So they build this to be waterproof slash water resistant. Um, this is pick and pluck foam, which is really nice. So haven't decided, uh, if you guys can see the image of the uh, the guns there, haven't decided if I'm going to go this way with the, uh, the, the, the firearms, uh, especially if I'm going to use this for red dot transport, uh, or if I'm going to just leave them laying, laying on their side and since has multiple, since this has multiple layers here, um, maybe I'll just lay them down like that. So take the foam out and we're going to try uh, some water testing here. All right, first test I'm going to do is a spray test. I'm going to spray all around the edges. Uh, spray it on top. I'm going to spray at this blow off valve as well. Try to see if uh, the seams will leak through at all. And uh, I do have a piece of paper in there. So if it does start to leak, we'll, uh, we should see some water inside. Get on the edges there, so I get on the edges, come up in here, turn it sideways, get across the top, across the hinges. See if that piece of paper is wet. Trying to do this with one hand. All right, so I don't know if you guys heard that. There's a little bit of suction. And it looks pretty dry in there. Piece of paper is dry. There we go. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to submerge this. I'm going to get some weights and put them in. All right, so you have a 35 pounds worth of weight in there. I'm going to uh, button this up and uh, start the water. And we'll come back and see if it stays on the water. All right, so far so good. 
Looks like the weight's holding it down. The 35 pounds is not enough to hold that, hold the case under the water with the buoyancy. Um, so it is definitely airtight, I believe. I don't see any bubbles leaking around. I actually put some ammo on top to get it to uh, stay underwater. So if you guys can see, the lid seems, uh, the latches, all that's underwater. Uh, and right now it is about quarter of. So we'll come back, we'll do it, let this sit for 15 minutes and we'll see how it works. All right, so we're back. Uh, I didn't continue the uh, immersion test because um, my bathroom bathtub stopper actually leaks. And when it came back after 15 minutes, the water level had gotten uh, pretty low. Actually, it was below the seam, uh, be below the seam here and below the uh, little blow off valve. So <clears throat> um, I'm pretty confident that it's uh it was dry bone dry on the inside anyway so i'm pretty confident if it was going to leak it would have leaked started leaking right when i put the ammo cans on there and you would have seen bubbles and we didn't see any so uh, my recommendation is if you are looking to give these a shot absolutely um they are significantly less than comparable uh, uh comparable equipment from skb and uh, from uh, pelican and hardig so um i will be using these i'll figure out what i want to do right now all i'm doing is you know putting in um some red dot guns for storage again not sure if i want to go straight up and down with these or get a different type of storage and transport system but um these are going to get placed down in here all right so these are all available as rental guns or loaners when we have uh, red dot classes. So uh, hopefully you found this helpful, help you make your decision on whether or not one of these cases are worth it. I've actually seen, a, I'm not sure if it's case club or custom foam, but they actually will make a custom cutout insert for you. Uh, they do have a designer on their website. If I can find the website, I'll put it in the description. So you guys can check that out if you wanna get one of these cases and have a custom cut for uh, whatever equipment you're putting in on the inside. So there you go. Uh, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon uh, so that you can be noted of any, notified of any other content that we might post. Thank you so much for your time. Appreciate you spending it with us. Stay safe and we'll see you out on the range.